so as you know that all the concepts are already over all the formula we have derived we had done so many problems we had done iid problems but still i feel that some more problems required because this is a chapter which really need a lot of practice so today today also i will do some more problems and of course today's problem will be little bit higher level so we will start now right on the first problem prove that cos square alpha plus cos square of alpha plus beta minus 2 cos alpha cos beta into cos of alpha plus beta is equal to sin square beta is equal to sin square beta this we have to prove so i hope till now you had remembered or by hearted all the formula okay so see so today's before doing every problem please give a pause try to solve it yourself and then see the solution okay because now you are in the stage that every problem you can try at your own so this is the expression this is our left hand side which we have to prove that is equal to sin square beta so see that this is can i write this as cos square alpha plus observe carefully from these two can i take cos of alpha plus beta common if i will take cos of alpha plus beta common here what left cos of alpha plus beta minus of what left here 2 cos alpha cos beta i hope you remember the formula of 2 cos alpha cos beta what is 2 cos alpha cos beta cos of alpha plus beta plus cos of alpha minus beta isn't it i gave the formula in transformations 2 cos a cos b cos a plus b plus cos a minus b so observe that this is cos square alpha plus cos of alpha plus beta into cos of alpha plus beta minus cos alpha plus beta minus cos alpha minus beta this is with plus sign this is with minus sign will get cancel what left cos square alpha plus cos of alpha plus beta here and here what left cos of alpha minus beta but i want to say that here this negative sign will come agreed see that cos of alpha plus beta this minus sign is there and they are in product so minus i am taking out cos of alpha plus beta into cos of alpha minus beta which is cos square alpha minus of i hope you remember this formula also cos a plus b into cos a minus b when i gave you the compound angle there i gave this formula cos a plus b into cos a minus b cos square a minus sin square b cos square a minus sin square b so cos square alpha minus cos square alpha plus sin square beta cos square alpha cos square alpha cancel is equal to sin square beta which you have to prove understand try write down <coughs> next problem prove that prove that cos 2 alpha equal to 2 sin square beta plus 4 times of cos of alpha plus beta into sin alpha sin beta plus cos twice of alpha plus beta this you have to prove see that in the last problem we took left hand side we proved right hand side this time what you will do obviously we should take right hand side and we will prove the left hand side 
isn't it? Always take the terms which have more number of terms. Take the side which have more number of terms. Left side have only one term. From one to so many terms getting is a difficult task. But from so many terms to reducing to one term is an easy task. So we should take right hand side, simplify to get the left hand side. So come on tell me what is RHS? 2 sin square beta plus 4 cos alpha plus beta into sin alpha sin beta plus cos twice of alpha plus beta. This is 2 sin square beta plus, see carefully, 2 cos alpha plus beta. Actually, how much for cos alpha plus beta is there? 4 times is there, na? 2 I am taking here. Still one more 2 will left, na? So that 2 I will take with this one. So this is 2 sin alpha sin beta, can I say? What is 2 sin A sin B? Cos A minus B minus cos A plus B. I hope you remember this formula also. See that 4 is there. Here 1, 2. Here sending 1, 2. Cos alpha plus beta as it is. 2 sin alpha sin beta. 2 sin A sin B. Cos A minus B minus cos a plus b so cos of alpha minus beta minus cos of alpha plus beta plus cos twice of alpha plus beta as it is plus cos twice of alpha plus beta this term as it is now this is 2 sin square beta plus twice of cos of alpha plus beta into cos of alpha minus beta minus 2 cos square alpha plus beta plus cos twice of alpha plus beta. Did you understand? This 2 sin square beta as it is, I am multiplying 2 cos alpha plus beta into cos alpha minus beta minus 2 cos alpha plus beta into cos alpha plus beta. So 2 cos square alpha plus beta plus cos twice of alpha plus beta. Have any doubt? No. This is 2 sin square beta plus, come on tell me, this 2 outside, cos alpha plus beta into cos alpha minus beta, already we had applied, cos a plus b into cos a minus b, cos square alpha minus sin square beta minus 2 cos square alpha plus beta plus observe this term carefully cos 2 alpha formula 2 cos square alpha minus 1 so plus of 2 cos square alpha plus beta minus 1 cos 2 alpha formula applying 2 cos square alpha minus 1 in place of alpha alpha plus beta is there I hope you understand this step so observe that 2 cos square alpha plus beta 2 cos square alpha plus beta will get cancel what left Observe carefully what left. This is equal to this is equal to 2 sin square beta plus 2 cos square alpha minus 2 sin square beta minus 1. Understand? Opening the bracket multiplying with 2. 2 sin square beta, 2 sin square beta. Cancel 2 cos square alpha minus 1 cos 2 alpha. This only we have to prove. So I hope you understand. See that each and every step is simply a formula substitution. Applying the formula. So I hope you understand that how much important formulas are in this particular chapter. You cannot forget any of the formula. You have to remember every formula and and when you have to apply that formula, that is the most important thing. So keep on practicing. By heart the formula. See that the best way I will, uh, I will tell you to remember the formula is, whenever you are applying a formula, anywhere, in the side, write down that formula as it is which I gave. If you write the formula again and again and again, automatically you will remember the formula. So that is the method to remember the formula also.
again i am telling that see that i am giving you the solution but i want that these problem you should work out at your own you should get the solution of each and every problem right down next problem prove that prove that tan 9 degrees minus tan 27 degrees minus tan 63 degrees plus tan 81 degrees is equal to 4 is equal to 4 you have to prove so see that left hand side what is left hand side tan 9 degrees minus tan 27 degrees minus tan 63 degrees plus tan 81 degrees can i write this as tan 9 degrees minus tan 27 degrees minus tan of 90 minus 27. Can I write? 90 minus 27 is how much? 63. My plus tan of 90 minus 9. Can I write? 90 minus 9 is how much? 81. So this is what? Tan 9 degrees. I am writing here. Come on, tell me what is tan 90 minus theta? Cot theta. Tan 90 minus theta is cot theta. So that cot 9 degrees. Write down here. Minus of tan 27 degrees minus 90 minus 27 cot 27 degrees. Any problem? Tan 90 minus theta cot theta. So observe carefully now. This I will say that sine 9 degrees by cos 9 degrees plus cos 9 degrees by Sine nine degrees minus sine minus should I take common twenty seven degrees by cos twenty seven degrees plus cos twenty seven degrees by sine twenty seven degrees. That is, come on, tell me what is the LCM? Sine nine into cos nine degrees, isn't it? LCM sine nine into Cos nine. What you'll get in the numerator? Sine square nine plus cos square nine degrees minus. If you'll take common, you already took common. What is the LCM here? Cos twenty-seven degrees into sine twenty-seven degrees. What you'll get numerator? Sine square twenty-seven plus cos square twenty-seven degrees. Sine square theta plus cos square theta, one. So what is the numerator? One by. What is the numerator? One by. What is the term? One by sine nine degrees into cos nine degrees minus one by sine twenty seven degrees into cos twenty seven degrees. Any doubt? Now see that I am multiplying and dividing by two. Can I? Here also, I am multiplying and dividing by two. Any problem? Why I am doing that? Two sine a cos a, two sine a cos a, two sine a cos a sine two a. So what will get? Two by sine eighteen degrees minus two by sine fifty twenty seven two is fifty four degrees. Now, if you remember, sine eighteen degrees we had derived when in multiple and sub multiple angle sine eighteen degrees I gave root five minus one by Four sine fifty four we had derived root five plus one by four substitute those values you will get the answer. Otherwise, if you want to do further simplification, take two common sine fifty four minus sine eighteen by sine eighteen into sine fifty four. Come on, tell me sine c minus sine d two sine. C plus D by two, fifty plus one, sixty-eight, seventy-two by two, thirty-six. Did you understand? Sine C minus sine D, two sine, two cos, 
साइन सी माइनस साइन डी टू कॉस सी प्लस डी बाई टू इंटू साइन सी माइनस डी फिफ्टी फोर माइनस एटीन थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स बाई टू एटीन बाई साइन एटीन इंटू साइन फिफ्टी फोर साइन फिफ्टी फोर कैन आई राइट एज नाइनटी माइनस थर्टी सिक्स इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम नाउ सी दैट साइन एटीन साइन एटीन कैंसिल साइन नाइनटी माइनस थर्टी सिक्स कॉस थर्टी सिक्स कॉस थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स कैंसिल टू इंटू टू फोर दैट ओनली यू हैव टू प्रूव दिस इज वन वे और यू कैन डायरेक्टली पुट द साइन एटीन एंड साइन फिफ्टी फोर वैल्यूज हियर यू विल गेट द आंसर और यू कैन डू फर्दर सिंप्लीफिकेशन इफ यू नॉट रिमेंबर द वैल्यूज ऑफ साइन एटीन एंड साइन फिफ्टी फोर दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी गुड प्रॉब्लम जस्ट वर्कआउट अगेन योर सेल्फ डाउन next problem <clears throat> prove that prove that sin power 4 pi by 16 plus sin power 4 3 pi by 16 plus sin power 4 5 pi by 16 plus sin power 4 7 pi by 16 is equal to 3 by 2. This you have to prove that this is equal to 3 by 2. What do you do? See that sin LHS sin power 4 pi by 16 plus sin pi 4 Three pi by sixteen plus sine power four. Five pi by sixteen plus sine power four. Seven pi by sixteen. So can I write this as sine power four pi by sixteen plus sine power four pi by two minus how much you can write so that you will get three pi by sixteen. See that LCM is 16, two eights, 8 pi minus pi, 7 pi by 16. Can I write this term like this? If you don't have any problem, plus sine power 4, 3 pi by 16 plus sine power 4, pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 16. LCM 16, two eights, 8 minus 3, 5 pi by 16. Check it carefully. This sine power four pi by sixteen as it is, sine power four three pi by sine power four three pi by sixteen. This one as it is, this sine power four five pi by sixteen. I am writing as sine power four pi by two minus three pi by sixteen. Check it LCM sixteen two eights eight pi minus three pi five pi by sixteen. And this one see that seven pi by sixteen. I will add LCM sixteen two eights eight pi minus pi seven pi by sixteen. I hope you understand this. Just rearranging. This time I'm writing here. This time I'm writing here, and I'm writing pi by two minus theta. Logic is sine pi by two minus theta, cos theta. So what you'll get? Sine power four pi by sixteen plus cos power four pi by sixteen plus sine power four three pi by sixteen plus cos power four three pi by sixteen. Did you understand how? Sine pi by two minus theta cos theta sine pi by two minus theta cos theta that power four as it is, this is equal to. See carefully sine square pi by sixteen plus cos square pi by sixteen whole square 
माइनस टू साइन स्क्वेर पाई बाई सिक्सटीन कॉस स्क्वेर पाई बाई सिक्सटीन अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज ए स्क्वेर होल स्क्वेर बी स्क्वेर होल स्क्वेर ए स्क्वेर प्लस बी स्क्वेर ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वेर माइनस टू ए बी दैट फॉर्मूला एम अप्लाइंग प्लस सिमिलरली साइन पावर फोर थ्री पाई बाई सिक्स साइन स्क्वेर थ्री पाई बाई सिक्सटीन प्लस कॉस स्क्वेर थ्री पाई बाई सिक्सटीन होल स्क्वेर माइनस टू साइन स्क्वेर थ्री पाई बाई सिक्सटीन कॉस स्क्वेर थ्री पाई बाई सिक्सटीन सेम लॉजिक ए स्क्वेर प्लस बी स्क्वेर ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वेर माइनस टू ए बी ना आई थिंक यू अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक वाई आई रोट लाइक दिस साइन स्क्वेयर थीटा प्लस कॉस स्क्वेयर थीटा वन वन स्क्वेयर वन साइन स्क्वेयर थीटा प्लस कॉस स्क्वेयर थीटा वन वन स्क्वेयर वन सो दिस इज ऑल्सो वन दिस इज ऑल्सो वन so see the continuation this you will get as 1 minus 2 sin square pi by 16 cos square pi by 16 plus 1 minus 2 sin square 3 pi by 16 cos square 3 pi by 16 that term only again i am writing 1 plus 1 2 2 two. Two minus of See very carefully what I am writing. One by two into two sine pi by sixteen cos pi by sixteen whole square. Understand? Multiplying and dividing by two. So this denominator to as it is. When you multiply by two, this is two square. Two square sine square pi by sixteen cos square pi by sixteen means two sine pi by sixteen cos pi by sixteen whole square minus same thing here. One by two into 2 sin 3 pi by 16 cos 3 pi by 16 whole square. That is 2 minus of. Can we take 1 by 2 from the whole common? 2 sin a cos a sin 2a sin of 2 into pi by 16 whole square minus of minus plus. Sine of two into three pi by sixteen whole square. Did you understand this? Two sine a cos a sine two a, but its square is there. So this is two minus one by two into sine square pi by eight plus sine square three pi by eight. Understand? Understand? This is equal to two minus one by two into sine square theta. Sine square theta in terms of cos theta. If you remember, one minus cos two theta by two. I hope you remember this formula. I gave. See that? What is cos two theta? One minus two sine square theta. So what is sine square theta? One minus cos two theta by To once check in multiple and sub multiple, this particularly I gave like this only. So this I want to apply now. So two minus one by two into sine square pi by eight. One minus cos of two into pi by eight by two plus one minus cos two into three pi by eight by two. Did you understand this? This hole is there in the bracket. First one, second one. That is two minus one by two into one minus cos pi by four. One by root two. Cos pi by four is how much? One by root two by two plus one minus cos three pi by four minus one by root two. So plus one by root two by two. This LCM. So this is two minus one by two into 
LCM will you will get 2 root 2, you will get root 2 minus 1 plus root 2 plus 1. Did you understand this LCM root 2? Here also root 2, that will come down, come down. 2 root 2 final LCM, root 2 minus 1 plus root 2 plus 1. 1 and 1 cancel. So, what you will get? Two minus one by two into two root two by two root two, which get cancelled. Two minus one by two, four minus one by two, that is three by two. This only you have to prove. Before starting the problems, only I said that today's problems are little high level. Whatever the problems so far we had done, those are very basic. Of course, this much high level problems nowadays they are not asking in IIT exam. But it doesn't mean that you will not work out that, isn't it? So you have to go to the uppermost level of the problems. So those type of problems today I am discussing. You should work out everything. Don't think that okay, it is difficult. Nowadays it will not come, this is lengthy, nowadays it will not come. You cannot decide what will come and what will not come. You have to work out everything. Write down this one. Next problem. Find the positive integers P, Q, R, S. Find the positive integers P, Q, R, S satisfying tan pi by 24 is equal to root P minus root Q into root R minus S. We have to find the positive integers P, Q, R, S which satisfies this. So, ultimately you have to find the value of tan pi by 24. So, see very carefully what I am doing. Do you know what is tan 2A? Tan 2A is what? 2 tan A by 1 minus tan square A. So, what do you have to find the value of tan pi by 24? Can you tell me pi by 24 is approximately how many degrees? Pi by 24 radians is how many degrees? 180 degrees by 24, isn't it? Pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. 2 if you will cancel 2, 90 is 2, 12. Again if you cancel with 2, 45 by 6. No? So, 45 when you will divide by 6. How much you will get? 6, 7, 42, 3.050. So, can I say that pi by 24 radians is equal to 7.5 degrees? 7.5 degrees. Is it clear to you? Now, if you remember what is 1 minus sin 1 plus sin a sin a by 1 plus cos a I hope you remember because in multiple and sub multiple I gave you this formula also sin a by 1 plus cos a sin a 2 sin a by 2 cos a by 2 1 plus cos a, 2 cos square a by 2, 2, 2 cancel, 1 cos, cos cancel, sin a by 2 by cos a by 2, tan a by 2, did you remember? We had derived in multiple and 
सब मल्टीपल एंगल्स देर आई गेव यू दिस फॉर्मूला टेन ए बाई टू इज इक्वल टू साइन ए बाई वन प्लस कॉस ए सो इफ आई विल टेक ए इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन दिस विल बिकम टेन ऑफ फिफ्टीन बाई टू विच इज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव ना फिफ्टीन बाई टू टेन ऑफ फिफ्टीन बाई टू इज इक्वल टू साइन फिफ्टीन बाई वन माइनस कॉस वन प्लस कॉस फिफ्टीन सो सी दैट वॉट आई एम डूइंग मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइडिंग बाई वन माइनस कॉस फिफ्टीन वॉट यूल गेट साइन फिफ्टीन इंटू वन माइनस कॉस फिफ्टीन वन माइनस कॉस ए इंटू वन प्लस कॉस ए वन माइनस कॉस स्क्वेर है वन माइनस कॉस स्क्वेर इज वॉट साइन स्क्वेर फिफ्टीन साइन फिफ्टीन साइन फिफ्टीन कैंसिल सो वॉट यूल गेट वन माइनस कॉस फिफ्टीन बाई साइन फिफ्टीन हियर एनी डाउट टिल हियर नाउ इफ यू रिमेंबर साइन फिफ्टीन एंड कॉस फिफ्टीन वैल्यूज आई हैड डेराइव वैन इन कॉम्पाउंड एंगल सो सी दैट वॉट यू हैड डन देयर साइन फिफ्टीन डिग्री स्कैन आई राइट ए साइन ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव माइनस थर्टी विच इज साइन फोर्टी फाइव कॉस थर्टी माइनस कॉस फोर्टी फाइव साइन थर्टी एक्चुअली यू शुड रिमेंबर If you didn't remember, then how to derive that? I am telling you. But if possible, try to remember the values. We will put those values now. Sin 45, 1 by root 2. Cos 30, root 3 by 2 minus cos 45, 1 by root 2. Sin 30, 1 by 2. That is root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2. This is the value of sin 15. And what about cos 15? Cos of 45 minus 30. That is. Cos 45, cos 30 plus sine 45, sine 30. That is cos 30 root 3 by 2. So root 3 by 2 root 2 plus sine 40, sine 30 1, 1 by 2 root 2, sine 45 1 by root 2, sine 30 1 by 2. So you will get here root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. This is the value of cos 15. Sin 15 root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2. Those values. Now we will apply in the given expression. Sin 7 and a half or 7.5 degrees, which we have to calculate, is equal to 1 minus cos 15. Cos 15 root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 by 1 minus cos 15 root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 by sin 15 root 3. Minus one by two root two, which will get as two root two minus root three minus one by root three minus one. Understand how LCM two root two two root two will get cancel. So two root two minus root three minus one into root three plus one by root three minus one into root three plus one. What I have done? Multiply and dividing by root three plus one. So what you'll get? So you will get two root two minus root three minus one into root three plus one. By three minus one, that is two. So you will get here two root six plus two root two minus three minus root three minus root three plus one by two. Check it. I'm just opening the bracket in the numerator. So this is two root six root three minus root three minus 2 root 3 plus 2 root 2 minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 by 2. Can we take 2 common and cancel? If you will take 2 common and cancel, what left? Root 6 minus root 3 plus root 2 minus 1. So if you will take root 3 common here, you will get root 2 minus 1. Agreed? Root 3 common, root 2 minus 1 plus of. Root two minus one from the whole. If you will take root two minus one common, you will get root three plus one. 
see that your right hand side was root p minus root q into root r minus root s in that form it k or not yes it does 2 root 2 into root 3 root 6 plus 2 root 2 plus root 3 plus 1 exactly so minus 3 minus root 3 minus root 3 exactly this is actually minus 1 check it minus 1 into 1 minus 1 so if it is minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 it will become minus 4 so 2 common and cancel what you will get here minus 2 root 3 common you will get root 2 minus 1 root 3 common you will get root 2 minus 1 plus minus root 2 common you will get root 2 minus 1 so from the whole if you will take root 2 minus 1 common you will get into root 3 minus root 2 which came in the form of what is the right hand side root p minus root q into root r minus s check it came or not if you compare p3 q2 r2 s1 and hence the proof what do you have to prove this is also a very very good problem write down do it carefully again and again work out important problem Next problem. Next problem. If the value of the expression, if the value of the expression sin 25 degrees, sin 35 degrees, sin 85 degrees can be expressed as can be expressed as root a plus root b by c where where a b c are natural numbers belongs to n and are in their lowest form and are in their lowest form find the value of a plus b plus C. Find the value of A plus B plus C. What you will do? So, we have to express this in the form of root A plus root B by C, and hence we can find the values of A, B, and C. So, listen very carefully. Did you remember I had given you some formula like this? just after multiple and sub multiple angles sin a into sin of 60 minus a into sin of 60 plus a is equal to 1 by 4 sin 3a remembered no okay just go through that once multiple and sub multiple angle so compare that i want to say that if a is 25 60 minus 25 35 60 plus 25, 85, isn't it? So, can I write directly this is equal to 1 by 4 sin 75 degrees? See that? If you forget this, this will become a very, very complicated problem. But if you remember that, uh, very easy. In one step, your answer will come. 
वन बाई फोर साइन थ्री ए सो दैट इज वन बाई फोर इन टू साइन सेवेंटी फाइव साइन ऑफ कैन आई राइट फोर्टी फाइव प्लस थर्टी फोर्टी फाइव प्लस थर्टी सेवेंटी फाइव दैट इज वन बाई फोर इन टू साइन ए प्लस बी साइन ए कॉस बी प्लस कॉस ए साइन बी सो दिस इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फोर साइन फोर्टी फाइव वन बाय रूट टू कॉस थर्टी रूट थ्री बाय टू प्लस कॉस फोर्टी फाइव वन बाय रूट टू साइन थर्टी वन बाय टू दैट इज वन बाय फोर इन टू रूट थ्री प्लस वन बाय टू रूट टू रूट थ्री प्लस वन बाय टू रूट टू वॉट यू डू रूट थ्री प्लस वन बाय एट दिस फोर इंटू टू एट Into root two multiply and divide by root two. Can you tell me why I am multiplying and dividing by root two? Because in the given expression, your c is natural number. So far, it is not a natural number. To converting into the natural number, I am multiplying and dividing by root two. So what is your denominator now? Come on, tell me. This is root three into root two. Root six plus root two by two two. Root two into root two two. Eight two sixteen. Now you can see that a is six. B is two, C is sixteen. So your answer is sixteen plus six, twenty-two plus two, twenty-four. See that that I am telling that again. If you remember this formula, then only your problem will be easy. Otherwise. you have to apply all those things which i had applied in deriving this formula okay next prove that next problem prove that 4 cos square 9 minus 3 into 4 cos square 27 minus 3 equal to tan Nine degrees. You have to prove. You have to prove that this is equal to tan of nine degrees. How you will prove? How you will prove? Multiple and submultiple. Can you tell me what is cos 3a? 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a. Remember, remember. Now observe that it is almost in that form only. Both, but of course something is missing. What is that missing? 4 cos square is there. We need cube and 3 cos a we want. That is also not there. So see very carefully what I am doing. LHS, four cos square nine minus three into four cos square twenty seven minus three. Listen very carefully what I am doing. I hope you will understand. Four cos cube nine minus three cos a. Sorry, three cos nine. Four cos cube twenty seven minus three cos twenty seven by Cos nine into cos twenty seven. Understand? Multiply and divide by cos nine. Multiply and divide by cos twenty seven. Four cos cube theta minus three cos theta. Cos three theta. Cos of three into nine. Three theta is what? Nine na? Three nines twenty. Seven into four cos cube twenty seven minus three cos twenty seven. Cos Eighty one degrees by cos nine degrees into cos of twenty seven degrees. Cos twenty seven degrees. Cos twenty seven degrees will get cancelled. Cos eighty one. Can I write as cos of ninety minus nine? Ninety minus nine is how much? Eighty one by cos nine degrees in the denominator. Cos ninety minus theta sine theta. Sine nine degrees by cos nine degrees is how much? Tan 
9 degrees which is your required right hand side. Logical question, little logical question, see that, that square and 3 is there, so from that you will get the idea that cost 9 extra you need it, so multiply and divide by that cost 9, that is the important idea of this particular problem, write down. Next problem. Prove that. Prove that. Four cos two pi by seven into cos pi by seven minus one is equal to two cos two pi by seven. This you have to prove. What do you have to prove? 4 cos 2 pi by 7 into cos pi by 7 is equal to 2 cos 2 pi by 7. See that proof. LHS. What is LHS? 4 cos pi by 7 cos 2 pi by 7 minus 1. Any problem? I am first writing cos pi by 7, then I am writing cos 2 pi by 7. Is it clear to you? So, this I am writing as, see very carefully, 2 into 2 sin pi by 7 cos pi by 7 cos 2 pi by 7 by sin pi by 7 minus 1. See carefully, sin pi by 7, sin pi by 7 cancel 2 into 2, 4 cos pi by 7 cos 2 pi by 7 means I am multiplying and dividing by 2 sin pi by 7. Now come on tell me what is 2 sin a cos a. You know that 2 sin a cos a is sin 2a. So 2 is this one as it is. 2 sin a cos a sin 2a. 2 pi by 7 into this cos 2 pi by 7 by sin pi by 7 minus 1 as it is this minus 1. So observe that 2 sin 2 pi by 7 cos 2 pi by 7 sin 4 pi by 7 my by sin pi by 7 minus 1. Have any doubt in this step? Sin 2 sin a cos a sin 2 a sin 4 pi by 7 by sin pi by 7 minus 1. So what you will do next? You have to prove this is equal to 2 cos 2 pi by 7 sin pi by 7 cos 2 pi by 7 into cos 2 pi by 7 exactly. So sin so this is sin 4 pi by 7, 4 pi by 7 will come, 2 sin a cos a sin 2 a, sin 4 pi by 7, exactly, huh? so sin 4 pi by 7, listen very carefully, here is the twist is there in the problem, I want to write this as sin of pi minus 3 pi by 7 minus 1 by sin pi by 7, exactly, see that carefully this step, now this is the most important step of this problem, sin 4 pi by 7, can I write as pi minus 3, see that 7 pi minus 3 pi, 4 pi by 7, by sin pi by 7 minus 1, sin pi minus theta, sin theta, sin of 3 pi by 7 by sin pi by 7 minus 1, understand this one, sin 3 pi, sin 3 theta, 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta. I 
Understand this step? Sin 3 theta. 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta by sin pi by 7 minus 1. Can I cancel sin pi by 7 by taking common? Take sin pi by 7 common and cancel that. What you will get? 3 minus 4 sin square pi by 7 minus 1. Agreed? Sin pi by 7 common and cancel. So here left 3, here left 4 sin square. 3 minus 1. 2 minus 4 sin square pi by 7. If you will take 2 common, 1 minus 2 sin square pi by 7. That is 2 into 1 minus 2 sin square theta cos 2 theta. So 2 cos 2 pi by 7. Your required right hand side. Write down. Write down. Next one, given that, given that 1 plus tan 1 degrees into 1 plus tan 2 degrees into 1 plus tan 3 degrees and so on, 1 plus tan 45 degrees is equal to 2 power n is equal to 2 power n, find n, find n. So, did you remember in compound angle, I gave a property to you, a particular problem which I told that, remember that from that problem only we had derived the value of tan pi by 8. I hope you remember that. If a plus b is equal to 45 degrees, if a plus b equal to 45 degrees, then tan a plus b, tan 45, tan 45 is how much? 1, that is tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b is how much? 1, so tan a plus tan b is equal to 1 minus tan a tan b or tan a plus tan b plus tan a tan b equal to 1. So, this is if you will take tan a common from these two, you will get 1 plus tan b plus tan b equal to how much? 1. Add 1 on both side. If you will take 1 plus tan b common, 1 plus tan b into 1 plus tan a is how much? 2. This only the result there I had proved, but I am doing again for you people. See that. If a plus b is equal to 45 degrees, then 1 plus tan a into 1 plus tan b is equal to how much? 2. This is the result. Now come to the problem. What is the problem given? 1 plus tan 1 into 1 plus tan 2 into 1 plus tan 3 and so on it is going now. So, 1 plus tan 45 finally, 1 plus tan 45, isn't it? This is the problem given now. 
is equal to how much you have to calculate the value. So, see that what I am doing is 1 plus tan 1 into 1 plus tan 44, 1 plus tan 2 into 1 plus tan 43, 1 plus tan 3 into 1 plus tan 42, this I am writing, did you understand? 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and again from the reverse 44, 43, 42 and so on 45, see that all the terms I want to say cancel, come, will come here, all the terms, means I want to say that this will be up to 1 plus tan 22 into 1 plus tan 23 into 1 plus tan 45 separately. See that 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to 23, then 22, then 23, 24, 25 and so on up to 44 and 1 plus tan 45 extra. If you again confused. So, see that again I am writing the problem 1 plus tan 1 degrees into 1 plus tan 2 degrees and so on 1 plus tan 45 degrees now. So, before only 1 plus tan 44 degrees will be there or not because every term is there in the series before 1 plus tan 43 will be there or not. So, I want to say that take the pair of these two see that 1 plus 44. 45. So, we can apply that formula that 1 plus tan a into 1 plus tan b is 2. So, this pair will give you 1, 2. 2 with 43 will give you another 2. 3 with 42 will give you another 2. 22 with 23 will give you another 2. So, this 2, 2, 2, how many times it will come? I want to say that 22 times. And again, this extra 2, this extra. See that? 1 plus tan 1 into 1 plus tan 44, this is 1, 2, this is 1, 2, this is 1, 2 and this is 1, 2. How many sides these 2's are coming? 20, 2 times and tan 45, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, this is another 2. So, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, two. how many times? 23 times. So, this is 2 power 23. So, what is the value of n? 23. Do not get confused. I want to say that 1, 2, 3, these are the angles going on. Na? So, 45, 44, 43, 42, like that it will come or not? Take the pairs, 144, 243, 342, 4, like that make the pairs. So, up to 44, how many pairs will exist? Pair means divide by 2, 44 by 2, 22, 22 pairs will exist and 1 extra 1 plus 45 will be there. So, 2 power 22 into 2, 2 power 23. So, what is the value of n? 20. 3, this is important problem, such type of problem very frequently they ask, write down. Next problem, if y is equal to 10 cos square x minus 6 sin x cos x plus 2 sin square x, find the maximum and minimum value of find the maximum and minimum value of y. So, did you remember? Before last class, we had derived a result that a sin x plus b cos x plus c always lies between c plus of root over of a square plus b square and c minus of root over of a square plus b square maximum and minimum value of trigonometric expression c plus 
root over of a square plus b square and c minus root over of a square plus b square. So, come to y. What is y given? 10 cos square x. So, that is 10 into, can I write 5 into 2 cos square x? Have any problem? 5 into 2, 10. Minus see that, can I write 3 into 2 sin x cos x? 3 into 2, 6 plus 2 sin square x as it is. So, this is 5 into 2 cos square x, 1 plus cos 2x. Remember the formula? Cos 2x, 2 cos square x minus 1. So, 2 cos square x, 1 plus cos 2x minus 3 into 2 sin x cos x sin 2x. Any problem? Plus 2 sin square x, 1 minus cos of 2x. Understand this step? So, what you will get here? 5 plus 5 cos 2x minus 3 sin 2x plus 1 minus cos of 2x that is minus 3 sin 2x plus 4 cos 2x plus 6 came in the form a sin x plus b cos x plus c it came in that form or not. So, what is the maximum value? Maximum value is equal to c plus root over of a square plus b square that is 6 plus 5 that is 11. c plus root over of a square plus b square see the coefficients a minus 3 b 4 but a square 9 b square 16 16 plus 9 25 root over 25 5 minimum value c minus c 6 minus of root over of a square plus b square that is 6 minus 5 1. So, y lies between 11 and 1. So, maximum value of y 11, minimum value of y is 1. Write down. Next problem, see very carefully. If, if 1 plus sin t into 1 plus cos t is equal to 5 by 4, is equal to 5 by 4, find the value of find the value of 1 minus sin t into 1 minus cos t. 1 plus sin t into 1 plus cos t is given. How much? 5 by 4. You have to find the value of 1 minus sin t into 1 minus cos t. This value you have to calculate. So, see. First, what is given? That we will use. 1 plus sin t into 1 plus cos t is equal to 5 by 4. So, can I say that 1 plus cos t plus sin t plus sin t cos t is equal to 5 by 4? Any problem? Or can I say that 2 plus twice of sin t plus cos t plus sin 2t is equal to 5 by 4. Have any problem multiplying both sides by 2. 
so it will be 10 by 5 by 2 did you understand this one multiplying throughout by 2 so this 2 twice of this whole 2 sin t cos t sin 2 t is equal to 5 by 2 so twice of sin t plus cos t plus is equal to 5 by 2 minus 2 minus sin 2t agreed all the just 2 sin t plus cos t I am keeping one side and all the terms I am sending to the other side that is 5 minus 4 minus 2 sin 2t by 2 is equal to twice of sin t plus cos t or this is 5 minus 4 1 minus 2 sin 2t by 2 is equal to sin t plus cos t Achha, can I bring this 2 also here by 4 can I write have any problem have any problem now squaring on both sides squaring on squaring on both sides what you get sin square t plus cos square t plus 2 sin t cos t is equal to 1 plus 4 sin square 2t minus 4 sin 2t by 4 this implies sin square t plus cos square t 1 plus 2 sin t cos t sin 2t is equal to 1 plus 4 sin square 2t minus 4 sin 2t by 4 have any doubt till here see that squaring on both sides then sin square t plus cos square t is 1 2 sin t cos t sin 2t and right hand side is as it is so So, 4 plus 4 sin 2t is equal to 1 plus 4 sin square 2t minus 4 sin nothing just cross multiplication 4 I am sending in the left hand side nothing more than that 4 plus 4 sin 2t is equal to 1 plus 4 sin square 2t minus 4 sin 2t so 4 sin square 2t minus 8 sin 2t plus minus 3 equal to 0 all the times I am bringing in the right hand side did you understand now what is this quadratic in sin 2t can we find the roots sin 2t is equal to minus b plus or minus root over of b square minus 4 a c by 2 a so 8 plus or minus root over of 64 plus 4 4 16 3 is 48 by 8 that is 8 plus or minus 112 root over of 112 by 8 so this is equal to 8 plus or minus 112 can be written as 4 root 7 by 8 did you understand see that 112 112 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 
टू इंटू सेवन टू इंटू टू वन रूट विल कम आउट टू विल कम आउट फोर विल कम आउट सी दैट फोर स्क्वेयर सिक्सटीन सेवन वन वन टू सो कैन आई टेक फोर कॉमन एंड कैंसिल यू विल गेट टू प्लस और माइनस रूट सेवन बाई टू सी दैट फोर कॉमन एंड कैंसिल बट आई वॉन्ट टू से दैट साइन टू टी cannot be equal to 2 plus root 7 by 2 why because this is greater than 1 check it isn't it this is quite clearly greater than 1 so sin 2 only possible value is what 2 minus root 7 by 2 this is the value of sin 2 t so so far we had calculated the value of sin 2 t now come to the problem what do you have to calculate you have to find the value of you have to find the value of 1 minus sin t into 1 minus cos t this value you have to calculate na so what is this 1 minus cos t minus sin t plus sin t cos t isn't it isn't it this is equal to 1 minus if you will take common sin t plus cos t plus 1 by 2 into sin 2t agreed agreed multiply and divide by 2 two sin a cos a sin 2t this i will write as 1 minus of observe carefully what i am doing root over of sin square t plus cos square t Plus two sine t cos t plus one by two into sine two t. Agreed. Taking square and square root, a plus b whole square, a square plus b square plus two ab. So this is one minus of root over of one plus sine two t plus half sine two t. I want to say problem over. Why? Because sine two t value v. have just put this sin 2t value here and here your final answer will come it will complicated na but important so i want to say that maths is a ocean like that only in the maths a particular trigonometry is also an ocean it is also a part of the ocean so how many problems you will do that much it will be less only if you observe that some about hundreds of problems already i had discussed if you see all the classes in each and every class if 10 to 15 problems this is the ninth class so some hundred of problems or problems i had done but still i want to say that it is something like taking a bucket of water from the ocean that much only i had done still much more work you have to do and that is not possible practically for me to do if i will do like that the problems hundreds and thousands of problems are there in trigonometry itself but the problems which i had done those are of a very good and high level problem means if any other problem you will get idea you can get from one of the problems which i had discussed so far not only today but throughout means now there is not a single problem which it is not possible for you to solve the thing is you have to keep on practicing for every problem somewhere you will get the idea the, from the problems which i had done the concept which i had given so but again the important thing is keep on revising the formula i want to say that every week one day fix it that one hour you have to try, read the formula of trigonometry must and should they should be on your fingertips you have to by heart those formulas like that and keep on practicing see that every day from the very first class you have to do minimum 20 to 30 problems per day if that practice you will do see that 20 odd problems 25 problems also if you will do per day then nine classes i took in alternate so 9 to 18 days if you will work you can only understand that for 10 days means 250 problems 250 into 200 200 500 problems if you will do 
300 odd problems also from trigonometry. Now you will be perfect in trigonometry and I will give you the guarantee that throughout this IDA preparation you will feel very comfortable if your trigonometry is perfect. If you will be little weak in trigonometry, then you will suffer a lot throughout this preparation of IITJ. So very fundamental chapter, very important chapter, very basic chapter and useful chapter, useful in almost every chapter. So keep on practicing, you are in the 11th only. So for 11th student, this is the very basic chapter and there is no hurry but if you are in 12th or 13th, then you have less time to work out so that you will feel a hurry a little bit. But in the 11th, first one month, give complete time to trigonometry only. Do as much work as possible. If you will spend 20 days full fledged in trigonometry, I am telling you that throughout two years, you will feel very comfortable because this trigonometry, these formulas will be frequently used in complete calculus and also in coordinate geometry and also in the other chapters also. So please keep on working trigonometry 25 to 30 problems target per day, minimum 15 to 20 days you have to work like that. Go through the formula again and again and again. If you cannot remember the formula, no problem. Write down 10, 10 times. I'm telling you that early stage of your preparation. So you can spend that much of time if that chapter is that much important. Keep on practicing, keep on working formula. And if this trigonometry is easy for you, everything will be easy for you. All the best.